Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Jones, and this is a very quick Naviance tutorial. Naviance is a web-based program that students will be using to organize their college information, communicate with the college counseling office, request transcripts, and request teacher recommendations. So each and every senior should be very familiar with this program. If you were at the college boot camp, you would have received a registration code and you will have already created a login, which is your email and a password. However, if you were not at the boot camp, you will need to contact either me or Miss B to get your unique registration code so that you can create an account and then you'll be able to log in to the Naviance program. Please go ahead and bookmark or make this screen an icon on your home computer or on your iPad or whatever device that you will use most frequently with your college information so that this login screen will be very easy for you to find. So once you log in, you will come to a screen that looks like this and it will have Father Ryan High School across the top and it will say logged in as and should have your name listed across the top. A couple of things about this home page. We've included some links that we think you will find very helpful. The first one will link you to the Father Ryan College Counseling webpage where we have scholarship information, testing information, tutoring information, um, college visit information, and then also information about the college process in general. So if you can't get a hold of me or Ms. Fee, you can always go to the website and probably find anything that you are looking for. Also, we've linked you to the ACT, SAT website, the College Board Big Future site, which is a college search. Many of you probably did this with me or Ms. B in your individual college counseling appointment. It's a really great resource for college searching. Also, the NCAA and the NAIA Clearinghouse are linked from here as well. There is a mobile app for Navient, so if you want to go ahead and download the mobile app to your i phone, iPad, or iPod, you certainly can, and you can access this on your mobile device. Ms. B and I can also send you messages via your Naviance account, so make sure to check in frequently to make sure we haven't sent you anything. The first tab that you'll want to click on is Colleges. There's a lot of information here I want to review with you. First of all, we're going to be listing college visits here on the right of the Colleges page. So we'll list College Fairs, individual college visits. So Rhodes College will be in the guidance office on September 5th at 9.15. Most colleges come and visit us at break. So you'll be able to see which colleges are coming to visit throughout the year. So here's the important step. Go ahead and create a list of colleges that you're thinking about. So we're going to add to this list, look up For the University of Alabama. Usually you can just put in a keyword and you're able to find the college that you want. Go ahead and list all of your schools. Mississippi State University, which is my alma mater. There it is. Let's type in just a few more. Vanderbilt, and let's do Belmont and then we'll add colleges. Okay, so those will then appear on your colleges I'm thinking about list. This tells you what type of application you will complete with the school. If there's a computer screen and it says CA in it, that means it's a common application school and you'll complete the application on the Common Application website, which is www.commonapp.org. If it's just a computer screen with no CA in it, that means that you will need to go directly to the college's website and complete the application there. We do want you to go ahead and indicate your interest level in these schools so that we have an idea of which schools are high on your list or not quite as high on your list. Remember that you will only have one first choice school and the rest will kind of be a combination of high, medium, and low. You really should not have many low interest level schools on your list. If you have a low interest, why are you applying? Okay, so if you see a very low interest level in several of your schools, kind of reconsider why they're on your list to begin with. This will also give you the application deadlines. Remember, early decision is binding. Early action is awesome. 
you apply early, you hear back early, and you're eligible for scholarship consideration, highly recommended. Sometimes there's a priority deadline for scholarships and that kind of thing, and then there's always a regular decision. Well, not always. For some schools, there's a regular decision, which is usually later in the year. So if you're a student who maybe needs to get your GPA up to be able to qualify for admission, uh, these regular decision dates might be good for you. Eventually, you will move some or all of these schools over to your application list. And I'm going to apply early action, which is, again, highly recommended to all of these schools. And here you go. I'm going to go ahead and request a transcript at applications. I've also submitted my application to all of these schools. So I'm requesting transcripts and I've applied. This is pretty important. We will not send transcripts for you until you have submitted the application. Colleges do not like to receive transcripts before they receive your application. So make sure that you indicate that you have submitted your application and then request transcripts to the schools. So now colleges I'm applying to, all four of my schools are listed here. I'm applying early action. It tells me if I'm applying Common App or not. Reminds me of my deadlines. Transcript has been requested. Once we've sent the information for you, this will change to initial materials sent. So you'll know that we have sent your information to the colleges. You can also go in just to transcripts, request transcripts, and you can add new schools here. You can always come back and update this information, request transcripts. Now, I've requested a lot of transcripts on this fake account, so there's a lot of information here. But you can always look at your transcript status and see when you requested, when it's due, and if we've mailed it, or if it's pending, or whatever the case may be. So you can always, without having to come to the guidance office, not that we don't want to see you, but this is just more um, easier for you to check from home or late at night when you're thinking about it. So you can come here and see if the information has been requested and if it's been sent. You also are going to be requesting recommendations for several of your schools. Now, please keep in mind that you should not request recommendations for schools that do not require them. It's up to you to make sure that you look up the requirements for your schools to see if recommendations are recommended or required and how many. Teacher recommendations add. You'll be able to go into this list and request from specific teachers a recommendation that you need. Now I'm going to go to my fake teacher here, Miss Sassy Pants. Dear Mrs. Pants, thank you for the recommendation. Now, before you have made this request online, you would have gone to Mrs. Pants or whatever teacher in person to make sure that they are comfortable writing you a recommendation. You would also want to give that teacher a copy of your resume and your reflection paper that you did in junior theology class. Make sure these things are updated, especially your resume, because I know that you've added some um, academic and personal and, and extracurricular information. Update requests. So now you have a teacher recommendation that's been requested. This status will change as well. So when Mrs. Pants completes your recommendation, this will update, um, most likely to say submitted or um, something to let you know that the information has gone to the college. A couple of extra things that you may or may not use. There is a scholarship search. So you can match up for scholarships here. If you click on the college, it will give you a campus tour and give you some stats. So I don't have any GPA or test score information in for Joe because he's fake, but it will give you the average GPA of the University of Alabama students from our school who've been accepted, what the average GPA is and what the average ACT or SAT is. So this is pretty cool. Also, if you're searching for careers, you can use the information here. Road Trip Nation has a lot of videos on different careers and people in 
high places who have tips and advice to give you. There's also a personality type profiler, so you can start an assessment and match careers to your personality. It's pretty cool. In the About Me section, we do want you to update your test scores, so you can edit and add especially ACT and SAT scores. We are not necessarily concerned with your PSAT or Explore or anything, just ACT and SAT scores. We also want you to update your email. So make sure we have a working email for you on file. If you have any questions about Navience, first of all, try to poke around yourself. It's a really easy program to learn. So click around and try to find the answer. If you cannot, please come and see Ms. B or me and we'll be happy to help you out. We'll also be in senior English classes early in the senior year so that we can help you with this and any other questions that you might have. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.